Okay, uh, we're demonstrating today the conversion box, and uh, what we've got here is an old-fashioned monochrome graphics printer card, MGP or MDA. We're plugging this in to an ancient ISA computer, and we're going to plug in an extension cable here. This is uh, about a six-foot extension. And then we've got this plugged in to our box that says, um, says VGAN. It's actually TTLN in this case. And then we've got our monitor. This one happens to be an LCD monitor, but any two VGA monitor will work. We're going to plug this into output. We get the AC adapter here, powering the box, that plugging in like so, and then we're going to power up the computer, power up the monitor, and uh, we've got the monochrome configuration on here. We're going to then send this into check it and uh, verify that it's uh, booting onto monochrome, monochrome display adapter. Actually, we, we had monochrome in there. If you're viewing this over again on this side, it, it showed that. Todd, if you move around the other side while you keep that going. Most of this will be focused on the uh, screen here. So uh, this is Check It. That's a very old program that does various diagnostics. We're going to say Configuration, and here we've got Video Adapter MDA. And then we're going to go into Tests, do Video. This is a short test on a monochrome card. Uh, there. The uh, 4K of memory on the card. And there's all the characters it's capable of displaying. And that's the fancy graphics that go with a monochrome card. And that's about the end in terms of what we're able to show you. Uh, the only other caveat that we'd have is that uh, the monitor would have to have a VGA port on the back. It's not certain at this point whether uh, a DVI connector is enough. And over time, they'll probably be fading out that VGA connector. So uh, make sure that whatever you plan on putting it on uh, has, it, at minimum, a VGA port and then uh, it ought to work uh, under really all circumstances. So it's monochrome out from the computer into the input port on the box, output to any standard VGA monitor. And that's about all we have for you. Thanks for watching.